Before my helpless sight, he plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. Poet Wilfred Owen recounts the horror of gas in the trenches of World War I. As the Second World War began, Yale scientists were engaged in defense research, searching for antidotes to these chemical weapons so dreaded that they were referred to only by code names. Pharmacists Lewis S. Goodman and Alfred Gilman discovered that mustard gas could be a potent weapon against another enemy, cancer. Yale played an incredibly important role in cancer therapy. Chemotherapy was discovered at Yale. Doctors Goodman and Gilman were doing research on nitrogen mustard. This was during World War II. They found that nitrogen mustard was able to experimentally shrink cancers in mice. Goodman and Gilman then went on to demonstrate with Dr. Linskog that you could give nitrogen mustard to patients, and they gave it to a man here at Yale with lymphoma and found that it shrank his cancer. This was really the first demonstration of this, and it led to dramatic improvements in how we treat diseases like lymphoma, leukemia, childhood cancers. The ability to profile the genes that cause cancer is extremely important. Every patient's cancer started with a genetic abnormality, either a mutation in their genes or an increased number of copies of a gene or an inactivation of a gene that led to the development of cancer. This allows investigators to take a patient's cancer, profile that cancer, find out which genes are abnormal, and then direct specific therapies against that genetic change. Building on the foundation laid by Goodman, Gilman, Linskog, and their successors, Yale scientists are developing personalized medicine, therapies that are custom to be precisely effective for an individual patient with fewer side effects. And so, another revolution in cancer treatment is underway.